You know who I just sounded like? Plug in a thing. I sounded like Okerlund. I miss Okerlund. I do. God, who doesn't? Me. Mean by God, Gene. One time on my, on my, ra- Gene was on my radio show. Remember when he had the burger joint, Mean Gene's Burgers? Sure, of course. Well, he said, he comes on the show and I go, Gene, can you tell us about Mean Gene's Burgers? And he goes, well, in a blind taste test featuring Jose Feliciano, Stevie Wonder, and Helen Keller Jr. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. And then he, he made up all these nutritional facts about Mean yeah. Gene Burgers. I go, Gene, yeah. I'd be willing to bet that you made all that stuff up just right now. And he goes, well, I have been known to throw the bull on occasion. <laughs> That's how good Mean Gene was. He was the best. Now, let's Brother, let me tell you something. You know this. You witnessed it. After Nitro, Mean Gene and I would do a regular rotation of between 10 and 13 dirty martinis, straight up. Blue cheese olives. <laughs> Nate, please join me for a Martin. <laughs> I was there. I saw it. It was amazing. I was there for three kidney transplants with Gene. <laughs> well, I always thought when Mickey Mantle was dying, I thought that him and Gene sort of switched livers. Yeah, they could have. I said that on the hotline. That was the last yeah. resort. Eric yeah. wasn't crazy about I, that. I'm, don- I'm donating mine to Duke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just take mine out and throw it against the wall and watch it shatter. <laughs> well, Nate, like I was saying, hot shots just outside St. Louis, Friday, January 28th. And that's two days before the Royal Rumble in St. Louis. 30 years since the Nature Boy won 60 minutes. We're going to have a live Woo Nation Uncensored podcast. All the VIP tickets are sold, but we've got some general admission left. And we're going to be shooting. Let's be honest. We're going to be more honest. We're going to say stuff we've never said anywhere else. Absolutely. No, nothing better than responding to a smart ass in a live audience. Ask it. You're going to get the answer. Don't I know it. <laughs> Don't I love I it. it. I can't wait. And by the way, we'll be standing room only by the 28th. <laughs> oh, no question. No question. And, and let me, you know, I was, in a, I was at a comedy club here, and then I'm breaking news here to you even. I was at a comedy club in Pittsburgh called The Improv last night, and they want us to come to a live podcast there. And they said, well, we sold out for Mick Foley. And I go, if you sold out for Mick Foley, you'll sell out three shows for us. But just tell them to add a lot more chairs. <laughs> So that that is on you gotta you gotta go Friday, January 28th, hot shots just across the border in Illinois, just outside St. Louis. It's Woo Nation Uncensored, two days before the Royal Rumble in St. Louis. You see it there on your screen, O'Fallon, Illinois. And that is something you just don't want to miss. Nate, you know who I just signed yeah, like? uh, And FYI for everybody out there that's listening, we, we are so booked right now since the success because of the success of St. Louis that there are people that we work with. I'm just telling the audience we're gonna, we we could, within six months from now, be doing one live show a month. Oh, no question, no yeah. question. This thing is taking off. And if you got the money, honey, I got the time. Woo! Woo! Hey, 